welcome to Virology Research Services, where we decode science and provide innovative solutions. Sun Tzu's famous saying, know your enemy and yourself, and you won't be afraid in many battles, is not just about war. It also applies to fighting pathogens like coronaviruses. By learning from past experiences and studying both dangerous and less harmful coronaviruses, we can get ready for any new infectious diseases that might arise. To tackle the problems caused by the novel coronaviruses responsible for significant health crises, it is imperative to understand not only the latest strains, but also their predecessors. Human coronaviruses were initially identified in the 1960s, when scientists Tyrrell and Bino discovered a virus capable of causing common cold symptoms in human adults, which they called B814. This discovery was soon followed by the identification of similar viruses in human patients with respiratory illnesses. These viruses were named coronaviruses due to the crown-like spikes observed on their surface through electron microscopy. For decades, these viruses were perceived as causing mild upper respiratory diseases. However, this perception changed dramatically in 2002 with the outbreak of severe acute respiratory syndrome and a decade later with the emergence of Middle East respiratory syndrome. These outbreaks highlighted the potential danger of coronaviruses and the need for a deeper understanding of their biology. In the realm of human coronaviruses, there are seven known types, which are categorized into alpha and beta coronaviruses. Among these, the human coronaviruses NL63 and 229E fall into the alpha category, while OCI43 and HKU1 are classified as beta coronaviruses. These viruses, often considered more benign, have adapted well to humans, offering invaluable insights for scientific research. Due to their relatively harmless nature, they can be studied in laboratories with less stringent safety requirements. This accessibility allows researchers to gain critical knowledge that can shed light on the mechanisms of more virulent strains. In contrast, the more notorious members of the coronavirus family, such as SARS, SARS-CoV-2 and Myers, demonstrate significantly higher virulence and complexity, presenting unique challenges for the global health community. Coronaviruses have a characteristic structure that sets them apart. The virion, or virus particle, consists of four main structural proteins, spike, envelope, membrane, and nucleocapsid. The spike protein projects from the viral envelope and give coronaviruses their characteristic crown-like appearance. This protein is crucial for host cell recognition and entry as it recognizes and binds to receptors on the surface of host cells, facilitating viral entry. Its critical role in infection makes the spike protein a primary focus in the development of vaccines and therapeutic agents. The envelope protein contributes to the viral envelope's shape and assembly and helps to construct the protective layer that encases the virus, contributing to its stability and infectivity. The membrane protein anchors the viral envelope and is involved in viral assembly. This protein ensures that the structural integrity of the virus is maintained, enabling it to survive and propagate. Finally, the nucleocapsid protein encapsulates the viral RNA genome. This packaging is crucial for protecting the viral genetic material and plays a role in the virus's replication cycle and in its ability to hijack the host's cellular machinery. Together, these four structural proteins not only define the physical and biological properties of coronaviruses, but also provide multiple targets for research and therapeutic intervention, offering hope in the fight against these pathogens. Human coronaviruses spread mainly through tiny droplets released into the air when an infected person coughs, sneezes, or even talks. These droplets can land in the mouths or noses of people nearby, potentially entering their lungs and causing infection. The common symptoms of a coronavirus infection are similar to those of a typical cold, including a runny nose, coughing, sore throat, 
and occasionally a fever. However, some strains, like those causing SARS, MERS, and COVID-19, can lead to more serious health issues. These severe cases may result in pneumonia, an acute respiratory syndrome that can severely damage the lungs and other organs. In the most critical situations, these infections can be life-threatening. We've taken a close look at coronaviruses, but there's always more to learn. We're a team of scientists at a contract research organization that specializes in virus research, including coronaviruses, and we'd be happy to connect with researchers who might benefit from our services. And if you're into virology and enjoyed this video, follow our channel for more straightforward science content.